The summer solstice is a time of birth where everything else comes into bloom. I was finding myself starved of this energy between lockdown university work I'd lost what makes me grounded and who I am. So, during the summer solstice, what better time to reground myself? Balancing stones is something I've done before. I used to do it as a child, but I've not balanced stones in a long time. It takes time to find the right stone. Time to discover where its position of balance is. And patience, which in this busy world, I'm finding I'm losing more and more of. Patience I need to stop and admire things for being just what they are. When balancing stones, I'm centered, I'm focused. The stones also teach me when to relax and just let things be. Whether that's near misses or when everything falls apart. There's nothing stopping you from starting again. It's something I wish I could tell childhood me to never forget.
In Scotland, the summer solstice is the longest day of the year. But like many places in the north, this is the longest day of light. On this day in Scotland, the sun doesn't set until almost one in the morning. Then the sun starts to rise at around 3 a.m. The further north in Scotland you go, the lighter it becomes, and in some areas the sun doesn't set at all. For me, the evenings are spent studying. This is the only time I have to myself, making sure I have a nice calm area to work in especially on these long nights, is crucial for me to find balance in life and work. My evenings tend to start around 8 p.m. The sun is still quite high in the sky. And there's plenty of light left for working. As the evening moves on, it's really easy not to notice the sun slowly going down, as it's still quite bright in the sky. As it reaches 10 p.m., it's somewhat noticeable outside that the light is starting to fade. As another hour ticks by, 11 p.m. doesn't see much change. My only knowledge of time is the fact that my eyes are starting to burn and the clock on the laptop tells me it's almost bedtime. It's amazing to think that this is close to midnight, when the sun is still apparent outside. All that's left now is to try to get to sleep when it's still light outside.